Hey everyone, how are we doing today? Uh, today we have the brand new HTC Desire 530 from Metro PCS. Just dropped September 12th. I'm actually really excited to see and uh, check out this new device here with you today. Um, you know, we'll just run over some of the features, check it out a little bit, check out the camera, the screen, and uh, a few other of the features that I like about this phone. Um, we have a 5 inch HD LCD screen important. It's not too big, not too small. Uh, it fits very well in the hand, you'll see in a moment. We have a 1.1 gigahertz quad-core processor, which I was actually impressed with. You know, at this price point of $79.99 with Metro PCS, it, it's really a powerful phone. It's not going to be lacking, you know, when you're playing your Pokemon Go, you know, when you're playing, you know, the, the Hearthstone and, and other, you know, popular games that we have nowadays. Um, 8 megapixel front facing camera, I'm sorry, 8 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. You know, the 5 megapixel front facing camera, that's that's along the same lines as, you know, the iPhone 5S. Um, it's not, it's nothing to, to scoff at. Uh, the thing that I was actually most excited and happy about is the amount of internal memory that we got here now. Um, we have 16 gigabytes of internal memory. You know, after the system memory and everything that's being used, you're still left with about 12 gigabytes. Um, you know, this does have the ability to go up to 64 additional gigabytes with a memory card. So, um, I'm excited about it. Like I said, $79.99 price point with Metro. Um, definitely uh, a great, you know, I wouldn't say this is like a high-end phone, but this is a great phone nonetheless. So uh, let's get right into it. Let's open this up. Let's take a look at some of the um, features here. This is actually the first time I am getting a look at it myself. So I'm excited to see it. I know you guys like seeing me struggle with this, so there we go. All right, so it comes in nice packaging. Let's take a look at what it comes with. We have your standard micro USB charger. Comes with the brick and the cable. It's always nice when they come separate um, so you're not stuck with uh, just one charger if it does get broken. I wouldn't use this myself, but we do have the lanyard. It does um, connect to the phone, makes it so you can you know, keep closer tabs on it, pull it out of your bag or your wallet um, to make things a little bit easier. take the phone out here you'll see that it has a very unique coloration on the phone itself if you see here see those little speckles in there I thought that was very unique I thought it was a cool color combination here for the screen uh, for the phone itself I should say nice big camera the LED flash, which is, is very important if you are taking you know, those night photos you know, with your friends when you're out in the town and whatnot. Um, the volume and power buttons are easily accessible. Um, I, I like the feel of it. You know, it I, I'm, a, I'm a taller guy. I'm six foot, so it, it does fit in my hand pretty well. It's not like too big like my Galaxy S7 Edge, it's not too small. It, it does feel very nice in the hands. Got the memory card, so this is going to be a built-in battery. Let's turn that on. It's really light. I was actually looking for the battery because I thought that it's so light that I thought that that I had to put the battery in. I like, I like doing this, I like loading up for the first time with you guys because I like getting a real accurate, you know, real life scenario of, of it loading up for the first time, see how quick it is, see if it's really, you know, using that quad core processor because when it first starts up, it's kind of going through that whole first loading phase and you definitely can get a sense of, you know, how quick the phone will be going forward through the use. Um, I'm looking right here, I, I see these actual dual speakers right here. You know, this may be the, the microphone down here. 
and the speaker down here, but that's that is a unique feature. I haven't seen that really too much. They call this color the sprinkle white. That's what we got here. Taking a little longer than I'm comfortable with waiting here. Standard micro USB charging port. A lot of people are starting to go with the new um, USB-C charging cable, which is much different than the USB uh, micro. Here we go. So this is, like I said, a fresh phone. This is just first time starting it up, so it will take a minute to get everything going. Um, I'm going to talk about the, you know, while we're waiting here, I'm going to talk about the camera. The camera is an 8 megapixel camera. That is nothing, like I said, to scoff at. An uh, 8 megapixel camera on a, on a phone that starts at $79.99 with Metro PCS is no joke. Um, the 5 megapixel front facing camera here. Um, that is a much better camera than most of our um, you know mid-range phones that they have out in the market right now um, you know I believe that my Galaxy S7 Edge is also a 5 megapixel uh, camera in the front too um, I've seen some of the cases for this device um, they do have a lot of clear devices, um, a lot of clear cases I should say, that show off, you know, the, the fancy um, sprinkle white as they call it. Get a little bit better of a shot for that for you. The camera here, nice big camera lens. You know, with a bigger camera lens that does make it um, better and easier for you to take night shots. The size of it is very nice. Here we go. So I'd say well, that was about two minutes startup time from a very first start. Um, what I'll do to kind of give it a true test is I will shut the device off again after showing you a few features and start it back up. So let's just kind of blast through the uh, startup part here so we can get over to the uh, Let's go and skip all this fun stuff. That's me not clicking on the thing. I'm looking through my phone here instead of looking at the actual device. Skip. I have to admit, I'm not, you know, I'm not really digging, you know, the speed so far. You know, yeah, it did just boot up, but, you know, I expect kind of a lot more out of a quad-core processor. Um, you know, but I'm not, I'm going to be fair. What I'll do is I'll play with it a little bit here, um, kind of click through some of the apps, give it a moment to load up, because it is kind of still loading up, you know, the, the startup menu and everything like that. Um doesn't really come with too much bloatware. You know, it is a Metro phone, so it has all of their apps in here. Does have some tools. Oh, that's cool. It has a flashlight, voice recorder, um, weather calculator, all, you know, the typical stuff built in. I, I'm personally, I use the flashlight all the time, and I, I always end up having to um, download the app. So I'm cool with that. I'll give them that. Productivity, file manager, phone, you know, your typical stuff in here. Let's check out the camera. It's 
let's go ahead and take a photo of itself. So one of the things I was reading about this phone is the um, the features that it has, like filters and everything like that. So let's take a look at those. Editor. So when you click on the editor here, it should have some effects in here, some flare touch-ups. So it looks like even you know a little bit of editing, like a, like Photoshop type deal, flare. can actually add yeah me personally I wouldn't really you know that's not my thing to really edit at the edit the photos but I know a lot of people are into that you know a lot Instagram is huge obviously um, let's check out some more of the editor filters let's check out some filters I know that's popular so really, you're not going to have to go and download that, that um, you know, what's it called? The uh, Instagram filter app or anything like that, or the Twitter filter app. It looks like you'll be able to do it right from your phone. So before you even upload your photos to the internet, to Facebook, to Twitter, all that stuff, you can actually... Oh, and look at this. You have a custom, you know, so if you're if you're really into it... And, and like I said, I'm I'm not, so I'm like the worst person to to go and mess with these filters. But it looks like you can come in here, you can kind of tweak it to exactly what you want. I'm gonna back out of that though. Check out some more of the other editor tools. You can crop, flip, straighten. So if you're bad at taking pictures like me, it looks like it will help you. Uh, straighten that photo out flip crop rotate so you know pretty standard stuff um, red eye removal you can share straight through the photo facing camera. Hey there guys. Let's see what we got here. Maybe there's some selfie options we got here. There's my beautiful eyebrows. Let's check out Zoe. What is Zoe? That is an internet required feature. Themes. Like I said guys, this is the first time I'm checking it out. I'm, I was just excited to check out a new phone. Themes. Get started. Skip the sign in. Looks like we need a data connection here. But nonetheless, we got, you know, the camera does have a lot of features in it. Um, the phone itself, you know, I want to test out the speed one more time. I think that will be fair, you know, because it, it did take a long time loading up the first time. Let's power off completely for like the kind of the final test here. I don't want to make the video too long for you guys. All right, the phone is off. Let's go ahead and turn it right back on. Love that awkward silence. Seems to be going a lot quicker. We're at about 30 seconds now. A 
boot screen coming up much quicker than the first initial load that we had there. At a minute now. All right. And there you have it. You know, it takes about a minute to load up. Um, I wouldn't say, you know, I'm not claiming that's the definitive way to check, you know, the speed of a phone and whatnot. But that that is a very good um, example. You know, a quad core processor. It should be able to load up. You know, so now, see, now it's loading up. It's switching through everything much quicker than when I first got it running here. Let's get a few things open here. Kind of. Yeah, it's a, this is actually a nice, quick little device, to be perfectly honest. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, like the video if you uh, liked what I had here to show you. Um, if you'd like some more of these uh, reviews, I would be glad to do them for you. Just let me know in the comments below. Uh, this is the HTC 530 uh, from MetroPCS. Um, and this is Johnny. Have a great day, guys. Take care.